Now I'm going to show you how you can accept float as input uh, from the user, right? So in my earlier videos, I uh, you must have saw how to accept input uh, character, character input, integer input, and string input. Uh, so in this one, we will I'm going to show you how to accept float, right? So I already wrote some bef few basic things, right? Float I have taken it as D system dot out dot print line as enter your number okay so for accepting input we should first import a class it is a scanner import java dot util dot scanner right so you have to import the scanner class then you have to make use of a scanner class and its methods to accept input right type over scanner s dot scanner s is S is the object name, right? New scanner system not in. Okay, so we type this one. Now let's understand the meaning of this one, right? Scan is the class name. S is the object. Instead of S, you can type anything, right? New is the keyword which is used to allocate the memory. And system dot in is the input stream. Right now, we are going to accept input from the user d equal to object name that is s in my program. Okay, right. So it is already showing uh, showing what was to type because the software is Eclipse. Right. Next, float. That's it. That's how to type. That's how to accept float values from the user. So if you're typing in Notepad, it uh, it's not going to show you options or in, or in any other text editor, right? So you need to remember it should be object uh, dot next float is the method of the scanner class, right? Okay, let's type on another line system dot out dot print line. Your lucky number is right D. Okay, so the program is completed. Oh, let's run the program okay okay so you can see the output right here in the console let's type out a number as 4.5 right? so your lucky number is 3.4 so it is accepting it is taking the input and it is giving the output uh, if you haven't seen my other videos please watch it and if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.